now we have our basic shape done. Let's go ahead and detail this section here to create spans here for our lightsaber. So let's go to the side view. I then like to go to polygon mode, and I'd simply like to select these polygons here. But then we need to go to face mode and select them. And then go to edit polygons and cut faces tool. I'd like to cut it here once, twice, and then um, actually we need to reselect the faces and do it. I'll just use it right here. Right like that. And we have two, but we need one more here. So let's go ahead and select the faces. I'll go ahead and select these faces here. And this time I'll cut them right here. This time, I'd like to go to vertices and simply select the vertices that I want. I'm going to scale these down, like so. And then I will select all of these and scale them up a little bit, and select this other set as well. I'll just kind of scale those up a little bit. About like this. And although they're not, the rings are not totally um, correct, it's what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and create this little uh, object here. Basically, we're going to create a cylinder and uh, have a little bit of a bend to it. So let's go ahead and go to Create, NURBS Primitives, and let's choose a cylinder. We are going to need to move this into position. I need to rotate this back 90 degrees. And then on X, I also need to rotate it 90 degrees. and I'll rotate it 90 degrees on Z. All right, I'll then scale this this way, and then scale it up, and then again scale it down this way. I'll roughly move it into position. I'll then go to control vertices, and I'd like to move the vertices around until I have the general shape created. And all I'm doing here is simply um, adjusting the vertices a little bit. about like so. I'll then select that object and go to Modify, Convert, and I want to do NURBS to Subdivisions, and then I'll delete the NURBS one. I'll hit 3 to create that, and then I'd like to go to Modify, Convert, Subdivision to Polygons. And it's going to add more faces in, but that's alright. What I'd like to do is go to Edge, and I want to select this whole edge. So I'll use the Select Border Edge tool, of which you can see how it does there. And I'll do it here as well. Now once I've done that, I'd like to go ahead and go to Edit Polygons, Extrude the Edge. And I'd like to move this down and in, and then also move it slightly out a little bit as well. I'll hit G again, and I'd like to do it uh, one more time. This time by hitting R and scaling down. It's something similar to this. I then convert this to sub D's and hit 3 on it to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Right like that. And we're done with this object. Except for in the side view, we need to adjust the vertices a little bit by simply moving them back like so. And like so. And then I'll move these forward just a hair. about like this. And now we'll conclude this lesson. In the next part, we'll start creating the main body.